Hey guys, Last Stop Reviews here. Just doing a quick little demonstration on Automator. It's a piece of software that's bundled with Mac OS. It's, it's pretty much just a workflow thing. So if you find yourself doing a bunch of mind-boggling tasks repetitively, th that's what it's meant for. Um, I'm just going to jump right into it. An easy thing to get started with is just a little alarm clock for yourself. If you find yourself using your iPhone maybe or just don't like waking up to the radio and you've got a computer in your room, whether it be iMac, MacBook, Mac Pro, MacBook, whatever, it's going to work for you. Um, first things first, set, set the volume. If you're watching movies at night and you're trying not to wake up the neighbors, you're going to be at a pretty soft volume because there's not a lot of ambient noise going on. So don't make my mistake. Don't set it. Don't not set it. So when you wake up in the morning, your volume doesn't wake you up. Go ahead, set it. Just give yourself ease of mind. Next thing, just get some specified songs you want. I'm just going to pick the first three here. Just pretty simple. Just make it nice and simple. And then just play the playlist. That's all it is. And you're done as far as the workflow goes. Now what you want to do is save it as a plugin which will drop it right into iCal for you. Just save it wake up alarm and it will open up iCal so you can do the preferences. <coughs> sorry guys. Um, just edit it up to do it, sorry not every week. Just do a custom like for personally I have class Monday through Friday. I've actually got Friday off. It's very nice but set it so set that, set the times you want, wake up 8 a.m., and there you go. It's going to work for you guys. It's really simple, and one thing you need to kind of just keep in the back of your mind is your energy saver settings. Does your computer go to sleep after so long of not being used? If so, go to energy saver. Just kind of um, set up a schedule for you. If it's going to go off at 8 a.m., just set it for 7.45 every day to wake up. That way, you don't have to worry about your computer being asleep and you have a nice little alarm clock to wake you up. It's that simple, guys. I'm actually going to make a second video here in a second with a little more stuff you can do. Um, setting equalizer volume, stuff like that. So, oh, should have thrown this in. Make sure your volume on the iTunes is also set because if your volume on iTunes is zeroed out, master volume isn't going to make any bit of difference. Just like if your master iTunes was maxed out and your volume was muted. So get both of those set up. And if maybe you don't like waking up to the Mac OS screen, just throw in a visualizer and give you guys a quick little demonstration. it just kind of works. So that's a quick little kind of quick little walkthrough as far as an alarm clock goes through Automator. I'm going to do a second one here with kind of like the morning wake up routine I've got set to do. So check that out. It's going to be based off of this just a little go a little bit deeper. So last stop reviews here. Check out the other video and guys use it. It works really well. I haven't had the issue with it yet.